the Daily Digestion Channel. And in this video, we are going to be making some raw protein bars. And they're super easy to make, guys. And they are delicious. And I cannot wait to make them. Because the reason I'm making these is because these bars, let me show you. Um, Garden of Life. I got them and they seemed innocent enough. They had cashews, dates, chocolate, sea salt, and good source of protein, non-GMO, um, organic. Well, um, it's got this 12 grams of milk protein in it and um, I bought a whole box of these and my son didn't like them. Well, leave it to his 16-year-old innate intelligence to tell me that I should have listened to him that they weren't good. Um, but my husband liked them too, and everybody, my husband liked them, I liked them, and I was eating one at night right before I went to bed, like as a little treat. Um, you know, after I had eaten my all raw food, really healthy diet all day and um, it was like my treat well I noticed that they were something just wasn't making me feel right about them when I would eat them so um, I so I, I've really been eating super clean and really staying off the certain foods like it's I've been doing better and better it's like you know the longer you do it the longer you stick with it and everything so I um, I cannot believe it but I ate this and my throat got really thick and it was like hard to swallow it and I was just like god like why is this so hard to swallow and then it was like my throat started to feel puffy and like inflammated and then after I ate the whole bar, I realized my whole stomach and everything felt really inflammated and weird. And I was like, okay, I really think I don't need to be eating it. And I realized it had that milk protein in it. I was like, you know what? Even though it's organic, I'm not eating any more dairy products. So I'm done. And, um, you know, I know that if, Maybe if I could get raw milk, it would be different, but I can't find raw milk anywhere. It doesn't exist around here. It's like highly illegal. I've tried, but anyway, so um, we're going to stick to plant-based um, because I'm, I'm really getting great results from this and, uh, you know, getting, eating you know, just as pure as possible right now. Um, so, this recipe, guys, I'm really super excited. And what is going into this is figs. So, we're going to put one cup of figs. And you want to take the stem off of your figs before you put them in. And now, the, guys, these figs have been soaking overnight. Actually, not overnight. They soaked all day so they've been soaking um so you want to get your figs to soak and what we have here is we have about you want to go with about 10 or 12 figs uh you know it just depends on how big they are if they're really big figs you'll you'll be able to go with 10. if they're like um you know small figs you might want to go with 12 or 14 so and you're going to put all of your figs in a, a food processor and you'll want to have the s blade functionality blade on there okay so and guys you another thing is you could use whatever you wanted like if you wanted to use um raisins if you had raisins you were wanting to use or dates or um 
you know, just something a little, a different dried fruit, you could use that in this instead. But we're just going to be going with these nice, beautiful, uh, wonderful figs. Okay? So, um, now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and put one cup of nuts. Now, you can put whatever nut you want. I'm going to be putting walnuts, okay? So what we have going in here is walnuts. One cup of walnuts. So we have two ingredients so far. We have the one, we have 12 to 13 or 10 figs, whatever. And one cup of nuts. Now you could go, you could do sunflower seeds if you wanted to. Um, it's really just about whatever you can get your hands on. Um, you know, you could do almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. You could do a mixed nut thing. But preferably, you want to make sure they're raw with no oils. So, um, I did not soak these. And they're going in here. And we're going to put some cinnamon. We're gonna we're gonna throw in about a teaspoon of cinnamon. You could do more or less. I'm gonna go with probably like a teaspoon and a half. Ooh, that was a lot of cinnamon. Let's back that off a little bit. Got a little excited there. Don't want it to be too cinnamony. So this is a healthier version of a bar. And then we're gonna throw some salt in there. So we're gonna make these as close to the uh, bar types that we can and you know just salt to taste guys how much ever salt you want to throw in there you just do it and we're going to blend blend them up i scared my cat You could add other things. Paper. 
guys, this smells just like those bars, those protein bars, you know, that they're selling all over the place. And you could put coconut in this if you wanted to. You could put some extra protein powder. You could add protein powder. I've seen people do that before. But we're just going to go with this today and uh, keep it simple. But protein... A good protein powder would be really good in this. Maybe like and we're just gonna take and mash it up. Guys, I always have fruit flies around my house. It never fails. Because we always have fruit. Can you see that? So you just want to take and mash that down. And then we're going to... You could stick this in the freezer or the refrigerator. And spread it around as evenly as you possibly, possibly can. Probably in a good uh, eight by eight pan. And this is wax paper. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yeah, this is wax paper. And that's what we've got, guys. And voila. And we're gonna put the lid on it. Let it get nice and cold in the refrigerator, and then we'll get it out and cut it and taste them. Okay, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make um, your own protein bars. And um, subscribe, like, share, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, share your recipe if you have any ideas on some special add-ins of things you could do. You could do co cocoa nibs. That would be good. Like, you could even sprinkle some on top of there. Cocoa nibs. I mean, you could do bee pollen on top of there when it's done. That would be good. Some bee pollen. Um, possibilities are endless, guys. So, um gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.